morning guys, how's it going? I am up super early this morning because I'm headed out of the country. I had one of my followers hit me up on Instagram say, hey, you should come ski Red Mountain. It's super fun time. And I haven't been to Red in like six, eight, maybe 10 years, um, but it is an awesome mountain. And I did not realize they're on the Icon Pass. So I was already super close being near Schweitzer. Um, it's just a few hour drive to get up to Red. So I'm headed up there today and I'm gonna have a little tour guide to show me around, and I could not be more excited. They just got about eight to nine inches of snow, uh, maybe not yesterday, but the day before, and then it's just been kind of sprinkling an inch or two every day since. Um, so since Schweitzer's conditions are kind of heating up and getting warmer, I figure why not chase this storm north and uh, go up into Canada and hopefully get the last little bit of winter up there. So I'm super excited to take you guys along with me and explore a new mountain a little bit. I'm still taking it easy with this cut on my leg, but I'm so stoked to show you guys around, especially from a new country. Okay, I'm really out here because I am literally on like a gravel logging road right now to get up towards Canada. I have no idea if I'm going the right way. This is just what Maps is telling me to do. Uh, <laughs> so I guess we're off road our way to Canada. Alright, <laughs> get out and take a second. That was quite possibly the most sketchy route I could have taken to get here. <laughs> oh my god. I am not taking that home. <laughs> that was horrible. Um, I could not film like most of it because it was literally just driving through snow on this like gravel logging road. But uh, I called my parents because they've driven to Red more recently than me and I was like, did you guys have to take a logging road to get there? They're like, oh no, we did that last time and couldn't get through, it was too deep with snow. Um, so thankfully I was at least able to get through, I didn't have to turn around. Um, I made it out to the main road again here. But man, I had to take a second. That was, that was an interesting drive, that's for sure. Alright, howdy guys, I'm out here at Red Mount. What's up YouTube? <laughs> what's up you? <laughs> Alright, what's up guys? Out at Red Mountain with my wonderful tour guide here, Daisy, who's um, showing me around on this beautiful bluebird day we have at Red Mountain. Thank God I came out here for the wonderful weather we have. <laughs> Yo, thank you, boss. Appreciate you. Thank you. A little double XL. You know, it's a bit of a gamble coming out here and skiing with somebody you've never skied before because you never know how they're going to ski. I mean, they could show up and be a green level skier, right? So it's awesome to get out here and Daisy just fucking rips. This has been really nice. More side hits. Oh, flat landing. Oh, wow. I love the side hits on this mountain. 
This is so fun. I bet spring skiing here is like just a fucking dream. This is all probably slushed up fast. And then you just have all these kind of naturally made by people skiing them side hits. Man, this would be a fun mountain to spring ski at. She's fast. She's cooking. What? I'll do whatever. I'm always down for beer 30. Okay, let's do it. And it's snowing. Gotta be stoked about that. This is slushy down here though. You can tell it's warm. This is like spring skiing. This is a big mountain. I'd be totally lost if I didn't have Daisy showing me around right now. There's like three different peaks on this mountain, which is kind of the confusing part. Because you'll take a chair and ski down and then you're on kind of a different mountain essentially. So it can get really confusing really fast. Tuesday? Yeah. It's mega dead. There's like nobody out there. Kind of nice. We'll drop shot with dirty sweater Daisy. <laughs> No friends on powder days. Wait, no friend. What says, says all friends. friends on a powder? Yeah, it used to be no. Friends. It should be no friends. It's a good spot. Oh, that's a good one. Is that a real Supreme sticker? No, not. Actually, yes. Oh. Yeah, my homie used to buy Supreme. He used to have a bot. I'm gonna let you put that one on too. Oh, you're doing triple the trouble. I have four Red Mountain stickers that I bought. That's a good Mellow spot. Mood. That's oh, a good spot. No. Did you get a crease? Yeah, a little bit. Brother. Hello, brother. No, brother. <laughs> no, brother. No, good. Look at, see, I told you I've been to red before. Old school red sticker. Oh, shred. Is that cover? Skiing yeah. Me bored. That's my dad's sticker, and he told me I'm not allowed to take it off. How did we get that? Because snowboarding. Oh. Because it's spelled B O A R D Does instead of B O R E D. Yeah, he's a snowboarder. Yeah, Red Mountain. The real reason to come here is for the carpet. One of the most premier carpets in all of the, all the state, province, territory. Whoa! Sorry, I might have hit the button. <laughs> I didn't realize that was a button. <laughs> Sorry about that. Dude, I haven't ridden one of these in ages. They're a little scary. Thanks, boss. Enjoy. I stopped the carpet. Why? <laughs> I got to the top. I didn't know the end was a button, and I hit it with my pulse. <laughs> and the lady looks at me like, are you really doing this shit? <laughs> shit, this mountain's kind of pretty when the sun comes out. I know. It's kind of nice. Nice. Let's go. Hell yeah. Where are your mitts? Right here. I never wear them. I hate gloves. Yeah, it's slushy. I feel like I'm skiing in walk mode. Yeah, I don't like Am I in walk mode? No? No? Hit your rails, I wanna see it. I'm injured, I gotta, I gotta take it easy, I'll follow you. God, I wanna hit that rail so bad, that looks so fun. Big sleigh. Okay, I got edges. I don't know how this is gonna go. <laughs> See, like down there where it opens up? Yeah. Go that way, don't go through this. Okay, stay left then? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll just follow you. Oh yeah, that hot pal. So she was saying all of this is side country right here, which you can see lots of people are skiing it, or maybe you can't on camera. Sometimes it's hard to 
see the far away stuff, but that would be really fun to come back with the skins and ski some of that. Cause that looks, after a big storm, or when everything settles out, that would be really fun. Let's see if we can pick our choose through our line. Wow, pick and choose our line through these trees. Wow, in a good snow year, some of these zones would be so cool. Like that, oh my God. Woo. Well, that's kind of fun. Yeah. A little slush cup. Here, you grab the zipper, I'll grab the coat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go. Nice. Perfect. Last time I skied moguls with this cut, it hurt pretty good. So maybe take this slow at the start, see how it feels. Not bad. Definitely improvement happening. All right, this is our little two skip and uh, I had the bright idea of miking up Daisy because she's been singing to herself the whole time. So she's gonna either sing to you guys or tell you a story or something gonna and I'm gonna film. Music. Which earphone, right is it on here. that side? Yeah. Okay, now you're good. What if I drop it? You won't, it stays on. <laughs> I ski with it like on powder days and shit, it stays on. I, I'm kinda scared. Uh oh, I like going really fast. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, this is a good song. It's that one. Um, it's like Pitbull. <laughs> oh, she's talking. I love it. Making her a vlogger. And I was to tell a story and I am talking about how I don't like the way Clint wears, what are they called? The mitts of the fingers, what are those called? Gloves. He wears gloves so he can use all his fingers. I don't know. He is the under one. Boys who wear gloves don't like it. It scares me a little bit. It looks funny and I like when you, when you wear mitts. All your fingers are together like a little party, but when you wear gloves, they're all apart, so it's like, you know, you're gonna, you can't, like, your fingers aren't having a party because they're all separated, you know? Uh-oh. Oh, oh you're still missing. Ah! I thought you fell off. You're good. I'll see it if it falls off. <laughs> it sounded like it did. And just like that, back at the base. You have a nice little chat with everyone? I did. <laughs> Talked about your gloves. No! <laughs> no way. No way. All right, guys. As per usual, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking in. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.